Man is back home after being chased from his college by those fires. Jermont Terry is live with his story and his concerns about finishing his education there, Jermont. Kimberly, the past four days have been an emotional roller coaster for this college student who was stuck in California, not to mention his parents in Birmingham who could not communicate with him. When this young man left to go to school, he had all of his belongings. He escaped that wildfire with the clothes on his back and a book bag. Luke Knox is home early for the semester from Pepperdine University in Malibu, California, due to those raging wildfires. I'm intrigued to see what it'll be like when I get back. Luke instantly fell in love with the mountainous scenery that surrounds his college. There's no place like it in terms of the view and the geography surrounding. But last Friday, that breathtaking view made breathing difficult. Luke recorded this video when he was forced to evacuate his dorm. But then, you know, I looked and Right there was this huge cloud of smoke and you know, you could smell it. As time elapsed, it became clear the wildfires were threatening everyone on campus. I saw how the wind was blowing and how it was sort of coming closer. That's when it sort of turned into, okay, I might have to be a little worried about this. Alerts went out. The Malibu campus is currently experiencing a power outage. Cell service was hit and miss. My son is so far away and the fires were moving very quickly. Luke had a chance to take a ride with friends, but opted to stay on campus. And there was no more rides offered to Luke. That's when I kind of panicked. I'm like, we got to get you out of there. His mom contacted family in Southern California who managed to get this, have an Uber pick Luke up. And she said, I think it got him, but eventually I lost communication with Luke. Those hours felt like days, but Luke was eventually able to get home to Michigan Monday morning, safe in his mom's arms. It's going to be a good Thanksgiving. I can tell you that. Now, Luke realizes how fortunate he really is, especially when he sees the devastation, not to mention the deaths caused by those wildfires. Tonight, he's just happy to be home and these snowflakes in Michigan our welcome sign. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. I, I understand that. that. <laughs> Looks pretty good now. All right.